Today I thought I would view my eye candy orange push chair, which is the dark slate colour. As you can see it comes in this lovely soft grey fabric with a massive basket underneath, with the frame material being like a black shiny aluminium. Uh, this primer is suitable from birth at the moment. I have the seat attachment on, but I will show you later what it looks like with the cap carrier attached. Uh, the pushchair hood is great as it unzips and comes down quite low to block out the sun or the light. It can then be zipped back up if you want it to come down. If you don't want it to come down that far, you also have this mesh window which is air, an air vent but also where you can make sure the baby is okay. Um, hopefully you can see some of the close-up shots, the colour of the fabric and how soft it is. Uh, it has the safety bar going across, the seat, here is the zip going all the way around depending how far down you want the hood to go and it just pushes back there and then this is the safety bar that press a button and it clips off both ends so you can actually remove it if you want to you then have this really nice fur soft grey foot muff that came with the pram and you've got the uh, five point harness as well and nice padded straps um, it seems really cosy in there nice and soft and fluffy perfect for winter and obviously just remove this when you when it's you know spring you won't need the foot mark then but it does look very comfortable to sit in so she it's quite a good quality fabric and the pram's quite sturdy and solid. So here you can just see the straps just go through the two holes and that's how you attach the foot muff. Uh, so that'll be coming off our pram soon as it's nearly, well, nearly spring. So just close the safety bar. And then the uh, handle has a button, so you just click the button and there's actually three different positions that you can have the handle rail. Uh, I prefer it to be the middle position as I'm quite short, but my partner prefers having it all the way up so it's quite long. So it's quite handy. Just pressing a button. As some prams you have to have two hands and press buttons either side. Um, and it's a bit too difficult to do <laughs> with one hand. As you can see underneath that little tab by the wheels, that's the brake. Um, so you just put your foot on the brake to stop the pram. And then put your foot underneath and flick it up and that will then release the brake. Uh, so this pram has four wheels and they're all removable. It has a lockable swivel wheels uh, which can also be removed at the front, which I'll show you. Yep, you can see how big the basket is in the bottom. It fits so much in there. And as you can see, on the seat, you've got this little pocket. So you've got some zips there to put storage in. Obviously when the pram isn't face fronting, you can then have easy access to that when you're child's face in the front but obviously for now because she's not even six months yet she's facing me at the moment so I can watch her at all times so, yep so you've got a few compartments there to put bibs in with muslins in or dummies which is quite handy and then this button here this moves the seat back and forward and I think there's again another three positions to move the seat so going down to look at the wheels, we've got those little two round tabs. Uh, so they lock the wheels in. Um, so I will mention about the pros and cons of the pram later on because there's a few, just a couple of cons I've noticed. Um, but nothing major to put me off ever buying this pram again because once again I wanted this pram because it is quite, it's big built, it's solid, it is a bit chunky. Um, but yeah, we'll go for that later on. So here I'm just going to show you how to fold the pram down. There's two buttons either side of the handle. You pull them up. 
and then have your foot on the bar underneath and just bend it down and it all folds down and then see this little grey clip here you've got to make sure the black bolt is in the grey clip as you can see here and then I'll show you how to pop the pram back up it's quite easy uh, so you just put your hand on the clip pull it forwards so the black bolt comes out put your hand put your foot on the actual bar and pop it up and then you just click you can just click in your seat or carrier uh, so it's very easy to do this take seconds to fold it down and fold it up again as you can see the front bit here where the basket is that's actually a buggy board already built in for toddlers um, so your toddler can stand on that bit obviously once the seat is forward facing because there's not enough room at the moment but your toddler can stand there um, as like a as you would do on like a buggy board um, but it's a built in one which is very handy uh, so now I'll show you how to put the carrier together and also how to put the seat together as well
first two pros I've actually noticed is the actual handlebar is quite thick and I have quite small hands um, so it is a struggle to sort of like put your hands around the bar um, but over time I, I've just got used to it basically um, that's quite minor um, also sometimes the wheels uh, they are locked most of the times sometimes when you're sort of pushing the pram the wheels will go off in their sort of own direction so you've got to be careful you know it doesn't swerve like, into the road once again that's quite minor a con really um, I just love how the pram is built and the quality of the pram as well and they're so easy to like fold down and fold up um, I did try all the other prams in the store and that was the easiest one that I could actually use um, so we've also got some other points I should probably mention basically the pram is suitable from birth with the carrier cot up to 25 kilograms uh, the carrier cot it's also suitable for permanent overnight sleeping. So if you're going away somewhere and you haven't got room for a cot, they can actually sleep in the carrier cot. Not all prams have this. Um, this one does, which I thought was a good advantage. Um, the pram also also converts into a double push chair as well. So you, with those adapters, you can add on other seats, car seats, carriers. So it is for multi-purpose, multi-children basically. Um, so the, yeah, it also converts into a travel system with the car seat adapters. It has a ride on board already on it for children, for toddlers. Um, so you haven't got a clip on a buggy board. Uh, also, my, the actual package that I got, it also came with a matching backpack as well. And I bought this from John Lewis and it was £999. Did get a discount on top of that as... Uh, they're always running discounts on John Lewis on their nursery items and prams. Uh, so we also have... So I've got a freestanding hold. Parent and world facing modes as well. Adjustable handbar heights. The basket is 64 litres. So that's quite big. Uh, maximum user weight is 15 kilograms. Um, so yeah, lots of advantages with this pram. Um, it's really easy to use, massive basket, really good quality, sturdy. Uh, a few prams looked a bit flimsy and, you know, even the framework didn't feel, you know, secure and felt like it's easy to snap. And you also get your warranty as well with the pram. Uh, they did mention to us not to hang a baby bag over the pram rails. It will eventually bend the actual frame and then obviously your warranty isn't valid no more because they can see you've actually done that so always keep a changing bag under the pram in the basket um obviously in the future i'll have to get a stroller uh, this pram is quite wide and uh, so it's quite difficult to go through you know if you're going to a really small shop you know you are sort of struggling to not hit things so it's not a slim pram it's quite wide and bulky um, but I do like it because it feels a lot safe as well for the child. I feel quite protected in this pram. The pram also comes with some attachments. We have the, if you want to make this seat higher or the carrier higher on the pram, so you've got more room underneath. These attachments for those, so, which I have used a few times. And we've also got um, attachments for a car seat as well if you want to pop in a car seat on the pram you can do um, I didn't get a car seat with this package so I didn't use those uh, you also then got a rain cover as well that came with the pram also haven't used this yet as I haven't really gone out when it's been raining um, so yeah that's quite handy um, so I think that's everything that I've covered um, but yeah let me know in the comments below what your favourite pram is um, have you tried the eye candy prams before do you get on with it well? Uh, did you not like it? Let me know down below what you think and um, what your favourite pram is. And like this video and subscribe.